Hi, I'm Larry Williams with the University of Florida Extension Office in Okaloosa County. We're going to spend a little bit of time looking at lawn issues, which I'll say, unfortunately, I have to spend a lot of time with. I think that's by default, because most people, what comes with that home is a lawn, and, and most people seem to be lost. They don't even know sometimes what type of lawn grass they have, and that is a must. So we're going to cover some of the things that people do incorrectly that result in problems in their lawns. I think sometimes people become more critical about their own lawn uh, simply because they're there, they put money and time into it, and it's not up to par as, as they expect. And sometimes when they hire a lawn care service, the expectations go up even higher. And lawns can be very frustrating here, especially when people are doing things incorrectly, and that's where I want to spend most of my time. If you look at the overall look of this side yard, uh, especially this front part, it, it looks pretty good. But then when you start focusing on the weak, bad areas, it becomes discouraging. So we want to take a look at what's happening first in those weak areas. So I have a shovel and I actually did a little digging over here earlier. And I want to point out, once you start learning how to look at symptoms in lawns, it helps. If you notice that the lawn here looks good, this is centipede grass, by the way, and it looks good here, but there's this almost a serpentine pattern. If you, if you follow the shovel and you look at this, and this is where I dug earlier, but it kind of is almost a serpentine pattern. It's like a big snake or something crawled through here. It, it didn't, but um, this is a symptom of ground pearls. The name pearls happens to be descriptive, and the little ground, they're in the ground, they look like tiny little pearls. So that's what I suspected. And so when I dug in here, and I'll show you what we're looking for, you have to get into the soil, into the root area, and see what's going on. Uh, in here, we I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little white, fuzzy stuff that you'll find all through here. And that happens to be egg clusters. The, it's, it's the eggs from the ground pearl. They go through different stages. I wish I could show you the pearl stage, but you can look up ground pearls online. And if you put University of Florida extension, you'll pull up the publication that we have that shows you terrific pictures and descriptions. But the point is, this insect plays havoc in lawns in North Florida, and there is no control for it, unfortunately. And it, it, it feeds on the roots, it weakens the root system, and so you now have a compromised root system, and you can see that. When you dig in here and you look at these roots and you knock that soil off, you can see that they're, they're kind of dark in color. The, the, the lawn roots, you know, relatively dark in color. A healthy root system will be more white. And you do have some fine hair roots, but they're not as many as you would like to see. And we're just now, and when you get into May and in June, some of those weak areas have a little better chance to begin to recover because you're getting into better soil temperatures. There's nothing you can do to jumpstart the lawn. People have a tendency to, well, I'll fertilize more. I'll put more insecticides out. I'll water a little more when it's counterproductive. You're causing more problems. So you need to identify what the problem is and we can help you do that. But this happens to be ground pearls and um, they're quite common and unfortunately there's no control. So what we recommend is you have to follow best management practices for the lawn grass you have to help this recoup or recover. And mowing too low for the type of grass you have, watering too much, over watering, and fertilizing incorrectly are the three big ones. And we'll cover some of that that causes our lawns to begin to, you got kind of a one-two punch. You've got a pest that's really negatively impacting the root system. And then if you're mowing too low, fertilizing incorrectly and watering too much, it's like the second punch, I'm gonna knock you out. You know, and, and that's what unfortunately a lot of homeowners do. Please join us for the next video when we'll take a look at the different lawn grasses that we can grow in Florida, as well as how to measure the square footage of your lawn. We can help you and our office is available and open. We're open Monday through Friday, eight to five at the Extension Office in Crestview. We have a, a satellite office, an annex, so to speak, in Fort Walton Beach at the Okaloosa Technical College. You can call us and, and get more information. Our phone number is 850-689-5850.